hello from the only fashion closet in New York where the value of the clothes is rivaled by the value of the booze. Um, I am joined, as always, by Josh Peskowitz. I'm always here. And he's always here. Uh, he works here. And our special guest today is Billy Reed, the Florence, Alabama-based clothing designer and bourbon aficionado. Boy, that's, that's high. That's yeah. high cotton there. I don't know, buddy. <laughs> So you, you, the store, it's all, tell me about it, it's all reclaimed stuff? We did. We started, um, what's well, downtown, it's Bower, down on uh, Bowery and Bond. We started about, about a year ago, really gathering materials. Uh, the whole idea behind the project, we would do the entire shop built with reclaimed materials. So everything from the staircase, which actually is seven staircases that we gathered to make one staircase because you can't really find one that's all together right. in a salvage yard. So we trucked all these materials here, wow. unloaded them in the space, and have been putting them up. From, from a beadboard ceiling we took out of, um, out of a general store out of Coleman, Alabama that got demolished, had poison ivy all over the wood. So we got it, we all had po broke out of poison ivy. First day we were here, that was fantastic. What, 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 I mean, what would you say is, you know, the main inspiration for the collection? You know, I, I love taking sort of classic Ameri American, you know, inspiration and then trying to turn it into something fresh. I would say for me, my, my experience with bourbon is really from drinking it. We've got so much we, to drink we here. So much, we have so, little, so much to drink and so little time. Well, we'll start here with um, the Old Weller. And first of all, it's 107 proof. So when you right. drink this, I would probably recommend Rocks because it's it's, it's got a bit of a kick, and the okay. next morning you'll feel it. You want you want to sip? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Um, Cheers. Cheers, fellas. Okay. There's a kick to that. It's it's it's, it's smooth, mm -hmm. but it's got the kick. This is kind of that one one drink, and you're good. Let's talk about Noah. Now that is a very generous pour you've given yourself there, Josh. I shouldn't have even noticed. Uh, that's how it goes, isn't it? It's you know, know what though? It really doesn't smell that brutal. It's a creeper. It's a creeper. It's a creeper. Yeah. yeah, it's a creeper. That's all day. That's crazy how I'm bad that's going to screw me up later on. But it's, that is all day right there. Wow. That, that was 114. Now, these guys make a very, very limited amount of bourbon. Y'all want to open this and try it? Well, yeah, I, I wouldn't say no. They like keeping a tight rein on the production. I think that's sort of the charm of it. Cheers. Mmm. That's tasty. It has a little different flavor, and I wouldn't begin to know how to describe it. Little, that might be um, the best taste of bourbon I've ever had. It's, that's that's pretty good. No, no, no bullshit in there. Wow, that is a you small taste statement. A, you Especially taste a little more of the fire <laughs> in yeah. this one. From yeah. the, a little more yeah. of the fire from the barrel in this one, and so it's got a little bit of a burn, but mm -hmm. it's a good burn. Mm -hmm. um, and this will be the sort of drunken wow. philosophizing section. Yeah. You know what my grandma once said. Uh, I totally forgot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually, actually, we're still sitting down, so. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for coming in. Thank you all very much. It was a pleasure. Thanks for the, wow. Good, good drink, <laughs> fellas. Will we aim it, please? I'm going to be the guy on the train that just <laughs> stinks. He looks like he has uh, a job. Yeah.